Hi Gemini, welcome to your October 2018 Love and General Tarot reading. Ooh, that one's for you. I'm Gemstone Tarot. I'm using my Smells Like the 70s. Morgan Greer Classic Original Beautiful Cards for you, Gemini. Okay, what does Gemini Sun, Moon and Rising need to know for October? 2018. <laughs> I was just thinking the devil, okay, but uh, yes, oh, okay. Some spiritual big jobs here. If you want a private reading, Gemini, you can look, oh my god, in the description box and see what's available. You've got so many major arcana. So far, you've got one, two, five out of six. That's quite rare. Yeah, check the description box. If you want to donate to the channel as well, and thank you to those of you that have donated to the channel, you can do that, oh my God, in the description box. And also check out my pick a card readings. I've got, how do they feel about you? And all kinds of others, oh my God. There's a playlist of pick a card readings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Major Arcana. I feel sorry for the two minor Arcanas. Okay. There's a lot going on in October. No question about it. Clarity will be obtained. We have the sun. When the sun comes out, you can see what's what. I love that card, actually. I'm just going to turn my heated seat on. Yes, I do have a heated seat. Oh, yes. That's better. Gemini. Big changes. The Tower. Major Arcana. The Tower. Epiphanies. Things being brought down that no longer serve you. People leaving that no longer serve you. You leaving people situations, jobs that no longer serve you. Seeing the light is what I get. Seeing the light. I have never seen so many major arcana. I mean, it's unbelievable. Some of you, Gemini, are dealing with no, <laughs> I don't know. This is the first time, first time for everything. This is so powerful. Some of you will find this month you're finally over somebody who would not offer you a commitment. It could be a Leo. I've got strength in the reverse. This can mean that you feel quite physically tired. You're a bit run down and you're a bit, ooh, you know. But it's also the Leo card. It's in reverse. You've also got the Sun card, which is a Leo card. Some of you are dealing with a Leo. Or if not, it's someone you've been dealing with in August, July, August, around that Leo time. Hierophant in reverse. No commitment. This is somebody who promised you a commitment and then flaked. You're finally getting over this person or at least getting to a point where you feel like you can, okay? You don't feel devastated in the same way that you used to. You've got the five of cups in the reverse. Yes. Finally, you notice three cups are spilled but two remain and that's the two of cups. In other words, love is possible for you. Love is possible. You may also get revelations about a person who uh, did flake on you. You may finally hear what happened. It's always the way. When you really, really want to hear it, you're absolutely dying to hear it, you can't get anyone to tell you anything. And then when you start to feel like you're going to get over it, you hear it. For others of you, this could be to do with where you work. You may lo no longer feel... Um, committed to where you work and that doesn't mean you'll hate it you don't like it you'll flounce off it just means you may no, no longer buy into the game of it it might not feel right 
it might just just not fit with you anymore and you can't really deny it in the way that you used to or there may be some kind of revelation again at work with the tower it doesn't feel like a negative tower sometimes the tower is like oh my god you know you failed to read the red flags it's coming in from left field no it feels much more like a bolt from the blue like i'm over that person it's just like i woke up and i felt better about it after ages of feeling crap or i'm over this job i've loved it for years i've come here for 10 years or whatever it is and now it's just not doing it for me anymore in the middle of your reading the magician and the magician of course has all the tools of the tarot in front of him he can draw down the magic above and make things happen you are the magician in the middle of a reading dripping with major arcana dripping with major arcana this is big 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 change you know the minor arcana of course is how things play out in the everyday the major arcana is all the forces that are underneath the archetypes and the destiny and divine timing what's below the surface for you is a big deal big deal you might find as well that you are dealing with emperor type figures this is the father of the tarot there could be issues to do with your own father or to do with fatherhood in your partner or just in your life in general also the emperor represents bosses people who run empires people who run you people who run your workplace you may find there are abrupt not so much falling out because he is in the upright and the emperor's quite fair when he's in the upright but you're not feeling it <laughs> you're not feeling it with the hierophant in the reverse and the tower you're just not feeling um like being nice to people who you feel have let you down you may be like you know on jim carrey in liar liar when he goes through just telling the truth all the time you may feel like you swallowed a truth pill and lost your filter okay woe betide anyone who crosses you in october but it's good i like it whoops listen to your intuition gemini high priestess especially around the time of the ninth the new moon in libra notice that she's got two crescent moons love those love the high priestess but the high priestess is the female magician and you've got both masculine and feminine listen to both the feminine intuits the knowledge in the strange way that she does and the masculine makes things happen as a result if you're getting downloads gemini about either love or work or your life or your destiny or your life purpose because hey when you got this much major arcana on the table we're talking big stuff we're talking your purpose on the planet why you're here who you love how you love if you love them and basically most of it's going to fall on you which i like it's an opportunity for you to get back in the driving seat of your life I got the wheel of fortune in the reverse you may have been feeling as if you know life wasn't kind of on your side and it hasn't been for a while i've done a lot of personal readings for gemini's as well recently and yeah it hasn't necessarily been on your side especially last year 2017 was a bit of a stinker yeah wheel of fortune in reverse queen of swords in reverse that's a gemini card you haven't been your usual sassy self strength in reverse you may have felt less physically capable of i don't know being who you are yeah for the strength card in reverse i get the five of swords feel hemmed in like people have been draining you that looks like it's gonna go this much major arcana you can't stay the same things will things will not stay the same even if you wanted them to wow 
Whoa. Some of you have a side hustle. You've been doing two jobs. Jupiter in Capricorn, the two of pentacles in reverse. And you're finding that your side job, and most Geminis have two jobs at least, or two of everything. It's like the twins, isn't it? Um, I had a Gemini roommate at university. I swear to God, she had about six jobs and was friends with everybody on the campus. I mean, wherever we went, she knew somebody. She was brilliant at getting into nightclubs and festivals. And she's like, oh yeah, I know the bar person. You're just like, yeah, here we go. So you may have, with this, two of pentacles, it's your side hustle. You may make money from this, but it's not your main event. But you may be becoming bored with the main event or just exhausted from running two shows. If there will come a point where one or the other of these will will be the winning horse and you'll decide to back it, okay? Really important because with this much major arcana it could go quite a long way as well. Some of you were cheated on by somebody. Some of you were dealing with a player and that's the person that you've been trying to get over. I've got the Queen of Pentacles here. I've got the Queen of Wands in reverse and you are the Queen of Swords. When there's three queens in a reading, somebody was cheating. This may not resonate with everyone, but the people it does resonate with, it will resonate with, okay? That person was definitely a player. You no longer wish in October to play the game though with anyone. You've got Hierophant in reverse, star in reverse. That's the Aquarius card as well. Some of you have been dealing with an Aquarius. Star in reverse is how you wish to be, how you wish things to be. And when you get that for the Hierophant, it means you don't wish things to be institutionalized. You don't wanna be trapped, you wanna be free. Let's have some Chucks, but some of love cards. I love that card for Gemini yes you get bad choices tree full of apples she eats the one with the worm okay that that person was a worm you kind of know that now you're gonna have your epiphany for that it's nice that you can get over it so kind of like it's not going to be quick because obviously leading up to this point it's been pretty awful but you will just wake up one morning and think i'm over it wild abandon you may get the opportunity for a fling a fling a ring a ding very nice let's have a card for that oh <laughs> for the fling you get the tower in reverse they always say to get over someone, get under someone else, okay? It's something like that. It's a fling. It could be a date. It could be anything. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want to make it, just get into receive mode, okay? Because you deserve it and it will get your levels back up. It will make you feel a little more, lit more, a bit more zippity doo -dah, okay? Healing card of giving. Let people give to you. Let people help you. Let people date you. Let people be nice to you, okay? Don't let yourself get into a situation where you're feeling exhausted with things. Yeah, you get higher power. I'm not surprised. This is a card that says if you have anything you want to work out, it's like put on the altar what you can't alter. Chuck it up. Put it up to your own higher power, high priestess. You're going to have, you. we've got the High Priestess, the Hierophant and the Magician. All of those are magical archetypal creatures. People who know how to intuit messages. You'll be getting a lot of downloads and messages about love, relationships, work and your purpose on the planet in October. Yes! Divine Guidance. Gemini, this is a stonkingly good reading, I have to say. It's um, cosmic. It's just like spiritual big jobs, okay? Leave me a comment. Let me know, Gemini, how this resonates with you, okay? And also do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and share this video on social media. And I'll see you soon. Namaste, Gemini.